The following cartoon is a light-hearted look at a really serious issue affecting the NHS. The NHS loses around £1.25 billion per year to fraud. This video illustrates one type of fraud. Did you know that some patients can claim their travel costs to and from hospital appointments? However, fraud can occur when patients claim for journeys they haven't made or haven't paid for. This is Lisa. She is entitled to free transport which takes her to and from her hospital appointments. When Lisa was at her appointment, she overheard a patient talking about claiming for their travel costs. I'm going to give this a shot. Surely they won't check how I got to my appointment. Despite travelling by ambulance for free, Lisa submitted a claim to the hospital for her travel costs for petrol. I can't believe it's worked. I've just been doing some routine checks. This patient has made over 15 fraudulent claims. She's been receiving free hospital transport and submitting expenses claims for petrol. That's NHS money. I'll report it to anti-fraud. He'll know what to do. Hello, anti-fraud. I need to report a patient who may have fraudulently claimed travel costs. Hold it right there, Lisa. Making claims for travel costs you haven't incurred is fraud. Lisa was cautioned by the police and had to repay all the money she'd claimed. Awesome job, Annie Fraud! Warning, the NHS loses around £3.4 million per day to fraud. Terms and conditions apply. Your freedom may be at risk if you commit fraud against the NHS. Will you with a criminal record? You may face internal disciplinary proceedings with fear result in your dismissal, having detrimental impact on your future career prospects. Financial recovery may be pursued putting your home assets and pension risk under the proceeds of grammar. You have been watching an anti-fraud production for Audit One.